this is the shelf that I've got all my Monster High dolls on. I haven't got a large amount of Monster High dolls, so they fit on a reasonably small shelf. So Cleo Denial is the only Monster High character that I collect all of the dolls of. I definitely have not got all of them yet. Uh, I've still got a long way to go. I think I've got about 10 or so that I haven't got my hands on. Some of them are going to be extremely difficult for me to get my hands on because I live in New Zealand. So um, dolls that are, you know, Walmart exclusives and things like that um, often are really difficult to get. So whether or not I actually complete my collection, I'm not sure. But these are the Cleos that I've got so far. So along the front, I've got Disembodied Council, Dawn of the Dance, Gloom Beach, uh, the Cleo from the Mad Science 2-pack that came with Gulia and the Wave 2 Cleo and then down the bottom I've just got the vinyl figure. That's the only vinyl figure that I own and I just got it because it's Cleo. So I've just moved the unboxed dolls aside so that I can show you the box dolls that are lining the back of this shelf. Uh, this Cleo is the Frights camera action and not only is she the first Cleo denial doll that I've bought, she's actually the first Monster High doll that I bought. Uh, I don't collect a lot of Monster High, and uh, up until about a year ago I didn't collect any at all. I have been collecting Ever After High and Barbie for a while, uh, but I didn't have any Monster High, and it was only when I saw this doll that I decided I really needed to have her, and it just sort of took off from there, really. This is the re-release of the original Cleo. Because I didn't get into Monster High till quite late, it wasn't a possibility for me to get my hands on the original Cleo, uh, so this one had to do. This Cleo on Picture Day was the second one that I got. Uh, I think she was the second Monster High doll I got to, and the second Cleo. It was probably really after I got this one that I decided I really wanted to collect all the Cleo dolls. And then after her came the Crepiteria one in the corner here. So this is the next shelf down, and this is the rest of my unboxed Monster High dolls. Uh, unlike most of my other collections, I think I actually have more unboxed dolls in my Monster High collection than I do in any of my other kinds of dolls, uh, simply because I started collecting them quite long after they started coming out and so then I tried to start sourcing some of the dolls that I wanted that had already been released and the best way for me to do that was through secondhand websites so this is all of the unboxed Monster Highs that are not Cleos. So I'll just start along the end this is the Gulia Yelps out of the Mad Science 2 pack and beside her is the Dawn of the Dance and I got both of those from a secondhand website uh, Draculaura here, this is the original first wave and I got her from a secondhand website as well. The little thing around her waist is actually a little ring. I think it came from McDonald's, I'm not really sure, it just kind of appeared in our house and it took, I didn't realise at first what it was because I didn't collect Monster High. So once I realised it was Draculaura I just kind of um, tried to integrate it into her outfit. <laughs> Uh, this Draculaura um, I actually bought from a seller uh, who ended up being a really good friend. She's got her own YouTube channel uh, and she let me pay her off so I was really pleased. She does have her parasol but I have got it stored down below with some other accessories. I absolutely love the shoes on this doll. So gorgeous. Uh, and then next to her I've got the Gloom Beach Draculaura. Uh, I just picked her up pretty recently actually and she's missing quite a few of her accessories and I think uh, this little bag she's holding is actually Frankie's so yeah she probably needs a bit of a fix up. Over there I've got Honey Swamp and Howling Wolf. I got both of them off a secondhand website but I think they've got all of their pieces. Um, Honey Swamp's camera is down uh, with my other accessories and so is Howling Stereo. This Laguna um, was my second Laguna and my husband actually picked me up, uh, her up for me at a thrift store uh, with no clothes on or anything and she's had a bit of a haircut as you can see so uh, I was in a department store a couple of days later after I had this naked Laguna doll with a haircut and they were having a sale on the Monster High outfits and they were down from $18.99 to $4.99 so what she's wearing is actually an accessory pack that I bought 
I do have another Laguna, she's in a box and you'll see her soon. Over here is Rebecca Steam. Uh, this original Rebecca Steam is one of my absolute favourite Monster High dolls. I love Steampunk, I love her colouring, I love the colour of her hair. I just think she's so nice. The only thing she is missing is her pet. Uh, I do not have the pet for her because I bought her second hand and it wasn't available. And over here I've got Cupid. Uh, I picked her up after I started collecting Ever After Highs. I didn't realise that there was another Cupid. Um, and then as soon as I found out she was in existence, I really wanted to buy her. Uh, she is missing her wings. <clears throat> she doesn't have any wings. Uh, over here is Operetta, the original Operetta. Operetta and Nephira are the only other Monster High dolls that I kind of purposely buy more than one of. Uh, as I said, I do have two Laguna Blues that just sort of happened because I picked up that second one, or my husband did. Um, but these two I buy kind of anything I can get my hands on. There's a lot of Operetta dolls that I don't have yet. Uh, I would like to source them at some point. Uh, Nephira, I have the other doll of her from Boo York. Uh, I'd really love if they would release a few more of her. And I also don't have the vinyl figure of her, which I would probably like. Uh, so I would say with Cleo, Operetta and Nephira, those are probably my top favourite Monster Highs. So um, I've got two shelves now to show you of box Monster High dolls. This shelf is so much nicer because of the artwork on the side. Uh, if you haven't got a lot of space and you turn your boxes on the side and they don't have any artwork, this is how they look. Um, so this is really nice because it means that I can turn them on their side to squish more in and it doesn't kind of interfere with the um, aestheticness of them on the doll shelf. Um, so I've got Claudine. This is the only Claudine that I own and I do like Claudine but I don't collect greatly on her. Uh, I bought this one though because I didn't have one. Um, she was on special for about $20 and I just, it was a bit weird having Monster Highs and not having a Claudine wolf so I just went and picked her up so that I had one really. Uh, and I did the same with this Howling here. Um, at that stage I didn't have the one from the gym that I just showed you up there. I didn't have any at all and I thought it would be really nice to have a Howling, especially because I really like her pink hair. So that's how I got that one. Oh, once you touch them, I don't want to go back in. This one I love and I picked her up probably quite early on in my collection because I'm a big fan of I Dream of Jenny and of course that's what she reminds me of or at least her bottle does. Um, that's better lighting. Yeah, so I got her pretty early on and I'd probably be quite keen to get some more of her. Uh, this one, oops, all the guys up here are going to fall down. Oops. This one I picked up relatively recently. Um, I do like the original Jane Boo Little, but I liked this one a lot more. In fact, I really love this whole line. Uh, I don't really have many. I've got the Katrine de Miel on lay-by. Um, and apart from that, that's the only ones from this line that I have. Uh, but I really love the colouring. This lighting is horrible, but I'll try and show you. And so beside her, I have got the Student Exchange Monster High Dolls, Marisol Coxie there. Now, Draculaura, uh, this is kind of a long story. I don't have two um, Monster Exchange Draculaura dolls. I have one, uh, which is here. I'll just see if I can pull her out. So that's the original one. Uh, and then this one here, inside this box, is another Draculaura. She's a bit drunk, hang on. There we go. Oh. This is another one that my husband picked up from the op shop. Uh, she didn't have an outfit on or any clothes at all, but uh, she didn't have a haircut or anything. But her arms had fallen off and the little pins that go back in were broken, so she was sort of a bit unfixable, but uh, with a hot glue gun... <laughs> And an outfit bought off a second-hand website that was made for Monster High dolls. I managed to revive her. Um, she's got a little hat on too that came from a Dracula accessory pack. 
Uh, and then I was given this box by um, somebody who didn't want it, another collector, and I just decided to put her in there to keep her dust free and looking nice. So that's why I've got two that look like that. Uh, and then I've got Lorna McNessy over there, and Jennifer Long um, is a bit unusual for me, really. She's not normally the kind of doll that I would like, but I just kept looking her at, the, at her at the store every time we went in, and eventually I just decided it was probably worth just buying her, because I kept picking her up and turning her over in my hands and thinking, oh, I should buy this, and then I didn't. So one day I just decided it was it was time to do it. The thing I've just got on the corner of the shelf is collector guides. So um, basically I've just printed these off myself and gone and bought some folders to put them in. It actually needs updating because there's been a lot since I last printed off the sheets. Um, so it's just like a checklist um, of dolls and different waves and different collections. Uh, the book is not full of ticks for me because I don't collect all the Monster High dolls and there's a lot of Monster High dolls I just don't like characters that I don't collect any of. So I mean there's some pages that don't even have any ticks. Um, in saying that it's actually quite out of date because I haven't actually gone through it for a long time and ticked off so there probably should be more ticks in there than there are but there aren't. Um, it takes up two folders at the moment and it's not up to date. I need to reprint them off again so probably I need to buy another folder. So on this shelf is the dolls that I turned on their side and don't have the nice artwork on the side. Um, so I've got this one. This one I actually just bought about two months ago. Uh, she's really quite old, but I only just got my hands on her. I love all of the Scarus line, but it's quite hard to get them because they've been and gone, and it's especially hard to get them in their box because most people bought them for their children, and they've been taken out of the box, and they've lost their shoes, and um, so I was, yeah, I really like the colouring on the Rochelle doll because I love pink and blue together. This is the other Laguna that I have, and she's the only one I've got in her box, and I bought her quite early on. Uh, I think after I bought the original Cleo, she was maybe in the next two or three that I actually picked up just because I thought she had a really nice face. So this is another Operetta. Um, this one was a Walmart exclusive and I only managed to get my hands on it because somebody brought her back from America and then sold it on a secondhand website, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get it. I really love the piano skirt and I just think she's very great Gatsby. Now this is the Boo York Nephora. She actually came into stores, I just was able to pick her up because I was collecting by then and she came into a department store. This is another Operetta. Uh, I got that one second hand. She has been taken out of her box but was put back in. But um, yeah, she was kind of rattling around inside the box when I actually bought her. I had to fix her back in properly. And I've got two Draculauras here. Both of these Draculauras um, I bought from the store. Uh, once again, I'd sort of caught up by then. I was actually actively collecting. Um, I do like Draculaura. I sort of feel like I don't have that many, but when I look back, I've got two there, two there, two up there. So probably actually I've got more Draculaura than Operetta. I don't feel like I collect as many Draculauras as Operetta, but obviously I do. Uh, yeah, so I picked these one up from a department store and I've just kept them in their box. I keep as much as possible in their box. I think I've only kind of unboxed two dolls ever. Uh, oh, and just beside down here, these are, well they were, uh, McDonald's toys. I've got two Frankies and a Howling Wolf. Uh, and they've got like a little dress up sort of system inside. I'm actually going to give one away soon with some other stuff. I'm going to be doing a giveaway package, um, which will have some Monster High and a bit of Disney. Uh, so look out for my next video if you want to have a look at that. And then down the bottom uh, is basically a shelf full of accessories. Um, so I've got Claudine's bed there, and it's kind of full of stuff. It's got uh, Dracula's parasols, um, and behind I've got a bed for Operetta. Let me grab it out. Oops. Um, I picked this up from a thrift store, and you can just put it down here. You can lie the doll in there. 
And I've also got, um, this is the only uh, plush toy that I have of Monster High, and I only have it because I happened to see it at an op shop. Uh, and I wasn't really going to get into collecting them, but she was a dollar. And I thought, well, for a dollar I definitely will have her. Uh, so I did. So although I probably wouldn't go hugely out of my way to buy a plush toy, if I found another one secondhand for a really good deal, I would probably take that too. Uh, and then in the back there I've got some other McDonald's toys that are Monster High. Um, I've got like two different bracelets. And there's another one here. And I've also got this uh, Monster High handbag, uh, which is a Happy Meal toy from McDonald's. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I got her from, well, her, this bag from an op shop um, for $1.50. Uh, I have another one somewhere which is open, so I haven't opened this one. I've just left it shut. So just before I go, I want to show you Girly Op. Uh, she used to be displayed, but I've just had a big change around and she just doesn't fit on this particular shelf anymore. I put all the Monster Highs here because um, I didn't have as many as some of my other collections. Monster High used to be over there, but it's on my Disney dolls now, and as you can see, they need the bigger shelf. Um, so yeah, Ghoulie Op is actually one of my favourite Monster Highs. I ordered her from Amazon, which normally is a cheaper option, but isn't really with the postage all the way to New Zealand um, but yeah I just really wanted to get my hands on her so at the moment she's just hanging out there with the Ever After Highs. So that's all my Monster Highs. Uh, I'm slowly going to be doing videos of all my different collections uh, Wizard of Oz, Barbie, Ever After High, Disney so this is the first one Look out for future videos of different collections uh, of dolls that I have and other things. And also look out for the giveaway video that's coming up.